joining me on this video. I am not well pleased, but I think it could be a subject that is of interest, and that is why I am going to do this on film. I messed up thinking I was going to do something good for my orchids because we were going to expect three days of on and off rain, which did not manifest. These two orchids here, in the beginning, were, let's say, the culprits, if I was going to push the buck on anything, because you can see the spotting. This is Panarica Brassavole. And I wanted to stop whatever is going on here with some copper fungicide, which I have been using successfully on and off throughout the years of growing this collection. And when I received this Panarica, it already had, you know, little spotting, just little ones. They weren't concerning me, but what was starting to bother me was the fact that they were spreading also to the new growth and getting more predominant. So I thought, yay, three days of rain, good flush. Let's get some copper fungicide on them and help stop the decline or the process of whatever is happening on these leaves. And the same with my Stamfordianum here. It always had these weird spots since the moment it arrived. And I just wanted to preempt it for when it shoots out the next growth. I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, getting fungus on that one. And my thoughts were, well, if it's going to rain, I'm going to up the doses of my copper fungicide a little bit. I'm going to show you now all the examples of what happened after I sprayed these two candidates because there was still some left in the sprayer and what it did to my roots. Here's my Vanda Leopard Yawn. It was growing a beautiful root with a nice active root tip. And I wondered, what is going on? Why are you going black? And then I remembered, well, I had my well water tub for dunking the Vandas and that didn't work out well. And I thought this might be from that well water, still some kind of residual effect in the orchid that would prevent roots from growing properly because that's what this would look like. It would, the root development would go black. And then I'm looking a little bit further and I'm seeing, hmm, struggling root tips. This is mechanical damage, doesn't look the same. Some roots are branching, which is great. No, this is different because I did spray this one with copper fungicide as well and it dried up the root point here. What I'm going to do today with the two examples I'm going to show you that I'm really annoyed about, I'll be cutting all the root tips off and I want to take you along for the ride. Similar incidences can have happened here with the loose neary blue. I still have root tips that are active, but around the back, if I can show you, I apologize, this is all a little bit impromptu, but I want to get to it today. Around the back, some of the really, really nicely growing root tips struggled and failed. I don't know if that's really obvious. We'll go to an example where it is obvious. I have similar spotting on this vandal, which was supposed to be tessellata black. There is the spotting and it just doesn't go away. And I sprayed it with proper fungicide. And look at what it's done to the root tip, where the copper landed, right there. It stopped, right there. It stopped. Now again, I used a higher doses this time because it was going to rain. What I didn't do was then, when it didn't rain, go and flush my orchids off using plain RO water to free the roots of the copper fungicide and make sure that they are clean. The orchid is going to be fine. They all are going to be fine because the roots that are there are functioning and hydrating. It's just those gorgeous root tips that I have messed up. And I'm really having a go at it this year with roots in my collection. First the well water, now the mistake with overdosing on the copper fungus side, no rain, and not flushing. So that's the only annoying part. I'm now going to show you the two that I'm most annoyed about, and those are the ones we're going to be cutting off on camera, and I'll take care of the other ones, then we'll have a look-see. Holcoglossum kimberlianum, one of my favorite orchids. 
Love it when the roots start growing and they were all growing really nicely until residue copper fungicide fell on the active growing roots. Look at that. Not only did the root tip start dying back, but it's taken out the entire fresh root. Look at that here as well. Papery, dry, all the way back up to here. And I want to cut that all off today, get back into green tissue. Now the orchid again is going to be fine because she has plenty of water roots. I'm not concerned, but growing root tips is such a beauty. And when I go around with my sprayer, it's one of those things that I really, really enjoy. And look at that, all gone. Brand new root for the season, desiccating fast and furiously. And on top of that, because I was spraying my Ungracum, Crestwood Tomorrow Star. Look, brand new root growing out and it's all black. And it's not just the point, no matter what I did to flush it off this time, it just takes out the entire root and it gets worse. Look, remember this gorgeous root tip that was I was hoping to direct down into the orchid top? Same thing. It was long lush, green, as Angraecum roots are. Chunky, beautiful. And look, it's gone. But there's more. Because I was also concentrating to get copper onto my Angraecum. Very slowly, check that out. Gone. And it's creeping up the root. And that's why I'm going to be cutting it off. And I thought maybe on camera, it'd be interesting to see how far do I need to go? How far is the root affected? Meanwhile, my crust wood is otherwise growing like a beast. It doesn't have any fungus, <laughs> but at least I'm getting, you know, new branches coming out. And another question I now have, if these are notorious for root disturbance, does this equate root disturbance? Or does that just mean when you fiddle and repot? What is the definition of root disturbance for angracoids? I don't know, but let me get you on a tripod. Let me see if I can film this and get into the healthy tissue, see how far these roots have been affected. I was personally thinking that it'll be okay, let it go. These symptoms of what the Kimberlianum is doing, I don't like it, I'm not comfortable with it at all. And I don't want it to take out any more root tissue than necessary. You see, that's green, but it's still papery thin. It's as if it's going to go all the way back. But for now, that's where I'm going to leave it. I can't see any deterioration, any blackening or anything like that. Julian S. mentioned once that using copper fungicide slows the growth of the orchid down. I had not noticed that trend, but what I didn't know is how it affect the roots if the doses isn't right or isn't flushed off straight away. So I've taken the other one down as far as I can go. This one just goes down to the kink. And because it's the same orchid, I'm not going to use alcohol every single time because I'm only cutting the roots that are affected. I just want this desiccation process to stop. Let's just go in a little bit sooner and see what we see just blackens and takes out the root. Let's go back to where it isn't desiccated. There's still some, I would say, black around the edge there. Oh, that's better, a little bit. Everywhere where the copper touched. Only new roots only roots that were in active growth, which brings me back to my video again of when I said, look at what the roots are doing. 
how cool they change in their makeup when they are in active growth. This one was a brand new root as well. It's kind of curled in back there. Look how much it's taken out. It starts with the root tip and it's not quick. This process of the desiccation of the roots, that was not quick. I've been watching them every day since they started to get one black dot or looked a little bit black. And then I've been flushing and flushing and flushing with plain RO water. And I had no success in getting the roots to be happy. You see this one down here, That was a lush, long root tip. I may have gotten away with it. I doubt it though, because that's what they look like. And then suddenly the tips will desiccate and become black like this before the velamen starts to decline. You see all the black? That was the active growing root tip. So just looking to see if I've got them all. I have an active tip in the trunk. In here is an active root tip, so that's not affected. I wonder though if I'm going to be able to get any root tips to grow and recover. Once again, I don't want to say I'm panicking about the health of the orchid because she has a lot of water roots, so that's fine. It's just so annoying. I love my root tips and I love it when I'm going around with my sprayer seeing my root tips. It's all part and parcel and fun of how these beautiful creatures grow. And you know, I would not have known this was going on if it had rained. It would have flushed the copper right off. So that's all I'm going to do with this one that I can see. Beautiful, hot, dry day today. I'll be doing a lot more spraying. Let's go to the crestwood here make sure you are in shot. We're going to start with this one. It was not an active root tip, but it has a black pointy tip. Still got green. This is the one that really, really annoys me. I was so, so looking forward to getting this one down into my orchid top. This is the one that annoys me. They all annoy me, trust me, but this one. Can't see anything. I'm glad, but look at how that root tip has gone. And it was long and green and lush. Yeah, what a shame. There's nothing I can do about the root that was growing out of the base. It's too close to the base, but let's keep turning her around and seeing what else we've got back here. Make sure that my other roots don't break. Oh, right. Thank you for sticking around with me. I appreciate it. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't like what happened, but hey, Guess what? I'm not going to ever put a higher doses concentration of copper on my orchids, even if it's going to rain. Look at that. What a shame, hey? Let me go in down low a bit, see what's going on. There's a bit of blackening there, but it's not like it happened on the inside. It's the outside. Now, you can see that there's, sorry, you can see that there's a bit of wrinkling still at the end. I'm going to take it off all the way to where there is no more wrinkling. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm doing this or have to do this. And it smells so good. I don't know if you've ever cut fresh roots. It's like a hundred meadows being mowed. I'm so sorry. There's more. Let me show you if it's in shot. See this one back here. Let me turn it a little bit more. See that? 
I don't want to lose it all the way to the end. Inside of Angraecum roots, you've never seen them before. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna just chop the tip off and put up the two bits for comparison. If I can. That's the root tip cut in half. And it's fine. It looks like it's fine. It's like the velumen got affected. Ah, <sighs> okay. Sad, sad, look. One moment, let me get you up. No other way to describe this, but sad, sad, sad. See this base right here? Yeah, that is a new one for the season. And it didn't make it. And this is how it started. It actually starts with a little black dot. It wasn't anything major. The older part of the velamen never showed anything at all. It was the tip, the green bits, that showed like one little dot. And I thought, well, if I flush it enough, it'll be fine. But nope, nope, it spreads and spreads until you get to this. So that is coming off. That's why I'm gonna take it off. I don't want it to get to that even more. And maybe it'll trigger another new root. Oh, you guys, this is killing me. All because of two candidates and then I had something left in the sprayer. But now that we've come this far, now there's a little bit of a desiccated one down here as well. Right there, that's coming off. So we take you back to that. I feel like I'm doing bonsai here, finding all my little pieces that need to be cut. But let's just make this a positive thing. Look, I'm seeing signs of scale. Well, if there's any positives to be taken from this, don't do what I did and look at that. Look at the little beastie boys in there. I'm seeing signs of scale. We're gonna take care of that right away. These are young scale. So they won't be around for long and they'll be dealt with and they won't be back. My scale is big, brown, fat and plump. And these are little ones. So if there is anything positive, because the orchid faces into the hedge where she lives on this side, away, this side is away from me. There was a root in this apex right here, but that was from last year. That didn't make it, but that was last year. So there's, that's okay. This leaf will be aborting at some point soon. Just checking to see if I've got more scale in the apexes, but no, I don't. Just this tender little branch here. Of course. So I'm going to be chopping off the van der Leppard yawn root as well. I think we've got everything that we needed to address on the crestwood. Thank goodness the bossery hadn't shot out any new roots at this point in time. Still the old roots, not affected, but my goodness, when you're looking forward to juicy, juicy roots, especially angrecoid roots, oh, what? Ugh. Anyway, let's go to Leopard Yawn. So while I was putting the crestwood back by the hedge, I just double check bossery, the two roots that are in the hedge. And one of them looks like this at the end. And it's getting enough humidity back there, so I cut it off as well. What a day, what a day. Okay, let's go to Leopard Yawn. 2021 is not my season for roots. It's still early yet, so maybe I can change that. Oh, that wasn't a good cut. Oh, we'll leave it. Let it do its thing. Yeah, 2021. What a shame, but I think it's 
better than to watch them deteriorating further. It's better to do this. And I hope that this was actually of interest. Now we wait and let's see if my season isn't all gone with new roots. Weird, weird, weird. Maybe weird is not the right word. I'm very disappointed, especially with the angracoids. I love those big, chunky, fleshy, long root tips. They are one of my favorites, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts. I don't know if this has ever happened to you. This is not fertilizer burn. This is definitely an overdose of copper. The rains didn't come and I didn't flush in time. I'd be interested to know your thoughts. If you have anything to share, Thank you very much for your time, for watching me doing the harakiri here on the roots of my angrecoids, my Kimbelianum and my Vanda. Much appreciate. I sound despondent. Well, I am a little bit despondent, but it's the orchids are going to be fine. It's just me loving those lush green root tips. And I won't be seeing them. Maybe the branches. I do have some branching, so that gives me a little bit of comfort. <laughs> Thank you everybody so very much for watching. Your time is appreciated. As always, I wish you a wonderful day and please stay safe. Take care. Bye.